Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 10.4 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. Lesson 10.4 is called Classify Quadrilaterals, which just means basically you're going to have some four-sided shapes and you need to tell me the name of those four-sided shapes. If you're in my class, you should be filling out page 393 in your big math books as you watch the video. Okay, so you have this nice chart and we have all these shapes right here. They all have four sides and those are what we call the quadrilaterals. They each have their own name here highlighted in yellow. This chart gives you the clues or the um, qualifications to know which name you should give each quadrilateral. Here's our definition. A quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides and four angles. You can name a quadrilateral by the vertices of its angles. Quadrilateral A, B, C, D, this one right here, is a possible name for the figure shown at the right. Quadrilateral, quadrilateral A, B, A, C, B, D is not a possible name because that would be going from here to here to here to here. You have to go in order around the quadrilateral. You can go that way or you can go the reverse like this, but you can't skip around. Since points A and C are not endpoints of the same side, you cannot call it ACBD. Assume that line segments that appear to be parallel are parallel. So if they look parallel, then they should be parallel. This gives us kind of a clue. See this blue line right here and this blue line right here? That's telling us that CD is parallel to BA. And then they have a second set that are parallel. That's marked by two blue lines. So that's telling us that AD is parallel to BC. Okay, so here's some common quadrilaterals down here in the chart, like I was saying. This one's called a trapezoid. You can call it a trapezoid if it has one pair of parallel sides. This one and this one, only one pair of parallel sides. You can call it a parallelogram if it has two pairs of parallel sides. So this, this is parallel to this. That's one, and this is parallel to this, that's two, but it also has to have two pairs of sides of equal length. So this is the same length as this, and this is the same length as this. Third one is a rhombus. It has two pairs of parallel sides. That's parallel to that, and that's parallel to that, and it also has four sides of equal length, so all the sides are equal length. So a rhombus and a parallelogram are almost the same. The difference here is that all the sides are the same length if we got a ruler and the rhombus. And here, these top lines are longer than these side lines. Okay, a rectangle, number four, has two pairs of parallel sides. This line is parallel to this line, that's one pair, and this line is parallel to that line, that's two. It also has two pairs of sides of equal length, so this left line is the same size as this one, and this one is the same size as this one, and it has four right angles. They're 90 degrees. Okay, the last one is a square, almost the same as a rectangle, but the difference is all four sides have the same length. So it has two pairs of parallel sides. This, this one is parallel to this one. This one at the top is parallel to the one at the bottom. All four sides are equal length and it has four right angles. So here's our activity. Identify right angles in quadrilaterals. Use the quadr quadrilateral color guide to color the quadrilaterals. So we're gonna use red if there are exactly four right angles. So this one right here has exactly four right angles. That's the only one that I see that has four right angles. This one right here has two. This one has one. The others don't have any. So this is the only one that's going to be red. If you don't have a red, you can just write an R. Okay, next one, we're going to use blue if it has exactly two right angles. Well, this one right here has two right angles. None of the others have two right angles. So that one will be blue. 
or write a B if you don't have a blue. Last is orange if it has exactly one right angle. This one has the one right angle. So that one will be orange or you can just write it O. Okay, let's move on to page 394. Actually, we'll not do 394. Let's leave that for practice by yourself. But just a um, recap of today's lesson 10.4. You had polygons, that means shapes that do not have an opening, with four sides, and you need to know what they're named. So we have trapezoids. We have parallelograms. We have a rhombus. We had rectangles, and we had squares. Okay, so if you have any questions, leave me a message, and that concludes Lesson 10.4.